Welcome back after a day of gardening or yard work. Have you noticed your arms are sore when you wake up the next morning? Yes, to answer that question. Joining me this morning in the sponsor segment is occupational therapist Renee DeShaw from Advanced Physical Therapy Center in Fenton to talk about uh, what you can do to take care of yourself working out there in the yard. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Let's, let's talk about the importance of taking care of your hands, wrists, elbows, and your shoulders. Yeah, you know, working in the yard, people go at it. They like to get a bunch of stuff and do it really quick and get it done. And you really need to think about respecting that and so that you don't have prolonged issues with your upper extremities. Yeah, you're getting personal here. I do relate to this, but <laughs> I mean, talk about the intricacies though with all these joints and the importance of treating them right. Sure, listening to your body is the number one thing that we really like to focus on. Um, it's not always a no pain, no gain type situation. People like to push through it and sometimes it's a little bit more, um, you know, you can have prolonged joint pain, muscle issues, tendon, ligament issues, numbness, tingling, all of that kind of stuff that it's really just important to listen to your body and kind of respect that. Well, focusing more on your arms and your hands, what is then, you know, the best way to maybe avoid pain and injuries uh, when trimming bushes or trees, for example? Sure. Modifying the activity is a really big thing to focus on. Um, obviously doing this safely, but leveling the playing field so you're not reaching above your head for prolonged periods of time. Maybe it's taking a break and going and having lunch um, and then getting back to the activity or switching off with a partner, loved one, or friend so that it's not just hours upon hours of reaching over your head when trimming bushes. Uh, and we were looking at a video there. How about digging and like you said, lifting potting soil. What are some tips though you have then to do that efficiently? How can you, you know, Work smarter, not harder. Exactly. That's exactly what I was just going to say. Um, getting a cart, um, loading your supplies, your tools, everything in there so that you're not making multiple trips. Carrying things is really important. Um, setting up your workstation where you want your pots and your plants to be or your garden and so you're not carrying a full heavy pot of dirt or flowers across your yard or through the house to the back deck. And then when it comes uh, again to weeding, squeezing clippers, things like that, those can be triggers for pain damage. Uh, you know, what are the best ways then to keep our hands pain free? What can you show us? Yeah, absolutely. You know, modifying these tools as well, getting some spring loaded scissors where they will do half the work. You know, you push down, they pop back up. Sometimes it's making the grips on your tools a little bit bigger, even with just some duct tape or some foam so that it's not as hard to hold on to a small rake or a shovel. Um, and again, just listening to that pain, um, modifying it, taking a break if you need to. And then, uh, you know, what are some of those things that you do to help people? I mean, I don't typically think of stretching it out before doing yard work, but talk about sure. the importance of that. Most people don't, but you know, it could be as simple as just doing a couple of range of motion exercises in the shower. You know, taking your arms above your head, a nice stretch range of motion this way, holding for a couple of seconds, same thing out to the side, get those shoulders warmed up, you're ready for the day. You can also stretch out your forearms by applying just a little bit of pressure here um, and really gets a nice stretch through there. Yeah, and then finally, if someone has pain that won't go away, what are some things that you'll do? Sometimes it needs just a little bit more love. We have a lot of anti-inflammatory techniques, ultrasound, um, deep tissue massage, um, electrical stimulation, and a big part of our um, programs are patient education and, you know, impl implementing some of these tips on how just to modify the activities and respecting that pain. There you go. We appreciate your insight and information uh, this morning good information to keep in mind. As you see there are advanced physical therapy centers, nine convenient locations. They're listed there on your screen. You can go to the website to learn more and I'll try to behave myself out in the yard. <laughs> good.